On May 18th, 2019, I had an appointment at Nike Bespoke Lab at 21 Mercer. Before my appointment, I stopped by a few times to go through the materials, go home and put my ideas into colors and patterns. I had to learn very fast where I was going to draw inspiration from. I've been a lifelong sneakerhead and in some way I wanted to balance my favorite shoes with some of the things that meant the most to me. After I figured out how I would be able to pay for it, I came out with a plan to tie back into my music. So first thing I did was I found the logo for my 12th album, The Crown, and at that point I was probably 30% done with the album. My appointment was about four hours. Most of it was just me being frustrated about like just how to match the colors with the way they were in my head. Four different versions of the shoe before we then just had lunch and then it all came together. You know, and as far as the materials go, I chose denim because, you know, making my first trips to Soho as a teen, wash denim was always the best option for your kicks way before the jogger era. I chose the floral vamp because it felt like I was the rose that came out the concrete a lot of times in most situations. The salmon colors because of my Presbyterian lifestyle. Red tongue because that was just my favorite color growing up. The baby blue was the closest I could get to the Invisible Woman Air Force One, which was like the one that just did it for me growing up, being a sneakerhead. Royal blue and checkered flag for Nip Hustle the Great. Zebra check because of the Safari Atmos Air Max One. You know, and the zebra looked like a checkered flag distorted from the angle. Embroidered number 12, you know, for my 12th album. And then the laser engraved forever on some fly dedicated to Nipples of the Great also. You know, I've been using that on my merch for a while now, you know, just to pay tribute to him, just while even give him his flowers while he was still here. Also engraved crown on, for the album. Green sock lining for the street signs in the Bronx. Yellow outsole just to give it a nice finishing touch. I used cork insoles inspired by the LeBron X um, EXT. All my albums listed on one of the insoles, and then on the other insole was my mom and pop's names, you know, the streets I lived on, the schools I went to, um, and Jason and Dean, just because, you know, the designers never get enough credit. My son's name on one tongue in Yankee font, because my son's name's Jeter. And on the other tongue, my daughter's name is Andy. So um, I tried my best to put like a Toy Story font, Toy Story twist to it. And, you know, each tongue has lyrics inspired um, from my songs that, you know, were about both my kids. One is, my blessing ain't famous, it changed the world. Never thought I'd have a son and then I had a girl. And then the other reads, my daughter's my queen, my son is my junior. Both can have a world, I'm trying to give him it sooner. So that's pretty much you know, those are my biggest influences for the shoe. And, you know, then going into production, I had to recolor the flower. You know, you gotta make it six colors for, you know, when you make it patches or just anything that usually involves printing. So I had to get down to six colors. So I chose that, the purple, because um, that was my kid's mom's favorite color. You know, gave her a little input on it. Yeah, one of the things that I wanted the most was like my own shoe line or collab or anything so just in in the process of making this one i had the thought process just to simulate a real sneaker rollout you know showcase the energy and just put on display that on an independent level that you know not everybody that has popularity has a demand and just kind of separate myself just show like marketing genius and just show a lot of different attributes that you know can you know be helpful in just a lot of different things as far as consulting in the future or just whatever it may be you know so the first idea i had was to make pens you know of course i reached out to the home of trippy pens and you know after that then I, you know i got the cards made on like vista print and then i got the stickers and i reached out to get shirts and you know i even this one took me a while to get the custom box but i just knew that the custom box would be like a finishing touch and you know with the album date approaching it was it was nerve-wracking because you know like i said the sneaker was supposed to tie back into the music so as i waited for the shoe 
and you know I had put so much into the sneaker you know it was like the music still had to you know grow a life of its, its, its own and you know I just knew that if everything was executed the right way that they'll both align in just some way and you know when the sneaker finally came and I wanted to get some life lifestyle like stock images I reached out to um Air Jordan K on IG, who takes amazing product pictures, and my boy Phil Matthews, who's I've known since high school, I think ninth or tenth grade, who I credit the most with my rebrand, just because the pics he takes of me, you know, it really helped me get my engagement to the next level. And you know, my finishing touch for my rollout was, you know, I, you know, I knew I was it was a chance that I'll attend, you know, Nike campus somehow in the summer, so. I wanted to make sure I brought the shoe, you know, show a couple homies. And, you know, at the same time as if I debuted it on that gr- all those grounds, it just, it'll really show a lot of initiative. It'll show, like, how serious I am about, you know, product and attention to detail and stuff like that. And, you know, here we have it, you know, the finishing touch, Air J Tips, many to come.